Hello. I am Clipfish, your host. Welcome to the third board, my master's chess channel. Here we show you annotated games of great players of the past, and other chess related content. In this video, we will see the conclusion of the game played between Jacques Mises and Rudolf Spielmann, in 1910. If you have not watched part 1, I recommend you watch it first. So, let's continue the game. Jacques Mises captures the pawn on d5 with the e4 pawn, threatening the bishop on e6. Did you find Rudolf Spielmann's next move? If you find it, congratulations! In this position, Spielmann plays. Bishop takes on d5, sacrificing the bishop. And after, c takes on d5. Queen takes pawn. For one bishop, black has a pawn and good possibilities of attack. Black now also threatens white's bishop on d3, and the pawn on g2. It is interesting to note that, when he pushed the pawn to e5, Spielmann already had in mind the bishop sacrifice and the position we see right now. It is possible for white to defend both the d3 bishop and the g2 pawn at the same time. The question is, is it worth? After all, white has material advantage, and could give back it in order to reduce black's pressure. What would you do? Feel free to pause the video anytime you wish to find a move. In this position white plays. Queen to g3. Defending both threats. But apparently, Jacques Mises did not understand how delicate was the position. This queen move put White's king in too much danger. Here, Stockfish advises simply to throw away the d3 bishop, sacrificing it for the pawn on h7. For example, Bishop takes on h7 check. Knight takes bishop, castles, protecting the white king with urgency, rook from f to e8, and the position is equal. Let's return to the game. After queen g3, black plays, rook from f to e8 check, bishop e2, rook from b to d8, knight c3, in this position, it would be inferior to play queen f3, because of the following continuation. Queen d2 check. King f1. Rook d4. Queen f2. Rook from d to e4. Knight c3. And black's attack would be strong. The game continues with. Queen d2 check. King f1, knight d5, rook e1. If, instead of rook e1, white played queen e1, the game could have continued with. Queen takes on b2, knight takes on d5, rook takes on e2, queen takes on e2, queen takes on a1 check, queen e1, queen takes queen check. King takes on e1. Rook takes on d5. But after this, the end game would be better for black. Back to the game. Now, black's two main moves are. Knight takes on f4. And knight to e3 check. What would you do in Spielmann's shoes? White plays. Knight takes on f4. But this, according to Stockfish was a mistake. After this, white restores equality. To the engine, knight e3 check was better. For example, king g1. Queen takes on b2. Bishop b5. Rook d2. 
and black would continue to put pressure on white's king position. The game continues with Queen f2 Rook d4 g3 Knight h3 Queen f5 Queen takes on b2 Spielman offers the exchange of knights. Would you accept it? According to Stockfish, accepting the knight right now is a mistake. He recommends king g2. And after that, knight g5. Queen takes on g5. Queen takes on c3. And white would be better. However, in the game, white plays. Queen takes knight. And the game continues with. Queen takes on c3. Queen f5. Rook from d to e4. Pinning the poor bishop. This will finally decide the game in black's favor. Queen f2. Queen d2. Black now threatens to move his rook from e4 to f6, and there's nothing white can do to avoid it. Rook g1. White will relocate the rook to g2 in order to protect the bishop. Rook from e4 to e6. Rook g2. Rook f6. Bishop f3. Rook takes rook check. And, in this position, Jacques Mises resigned. He resigned because the following continuation. Queen takes on e1. Rook takes bishop check. Rook f2. Queen takes queen. King takes queen. Rook takes rook. And king takes rook. After black takes the bishop, white's queen and rook would be exchanged. And the end game would be lost. Did you like this game? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want notifications of more content like this, please subscribe to this channel. My master and I wish good luck in your chess. Thank you, and see you again. Goodbye.